Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equations. Functional equations are fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have a function defined from real numbers to real numbers. And we are supposed to find f of x. f of x y plus 1 is equal to x times f of y minus f of x plus 6. All right, so let's get started. Usually with functional equations, you test some uh, specific values such as f of 1, f of 0. It's almost always helpful to find those values. So we're going to start by replacing y with 0. Let's go ahead and do that because that's going to give us useful information. It's also good that y equals 0, you know, is going to allow us to get rid of x and y at the same time, which is kind of nice. So if you substitute y equals 0, you get f of 1 equals x times f of 0. Obviously, in this case, we don't know what x is, but that's okay. Minus f of x plus 6. Now, from here, we can kind of isolate f of x. Let's go ahead and put, put the f of x on the left-hand side and everything else on the right-hand side. So we're kind of getting something like f of 0 times x on the right-hand side plus 6 minus f of 1. Great. So it's kind of nice because we got something uh, that looks like a linear function. Why do I say that? Because f of 0 is constant, f of 1 is constant. So we have a constant times x plus another constant, which is a linear function. Something that looks like mx plus b. All right. So at this point, we can safely say that, or we can do some substitution, right? Let's go ahead and replace or call whatever uh, f of 0 with a and let's call this expression b so we get something like f of x equals a x plus b awesome this really simplifies the process now how am i going to find the values of a and b right i don't really have anything except for the original equation so i can go ahead and substitute this into the original problem so let's go ahead and do that replace x with x y plus 1 and see what happens. So f of x, y plus 1, based on this equation, is going to be a times x, y. So I should probably use parentheses there, right? <laughs> okay. So replacing x with x, y plus 1, we get a times the quantity x, y plus 1 plus b. That is f of x, y plus 1. Now the right-hand side gives me what? x times f of y. f of y is a y plus b because f of x is a x plus b so if we can replace x with y and then minus f of x which is a x plus b as you know that was our assumption plus six great we got an awesome equation and get, guess what we got rid of the f notation so all we have is like a polynomial equation let's go ahead and simplify both sides we get a x y plus a plus b and then on the right hand side we get a x y plus b x minus ax minus b plus 6. Let's go ahead and simplify the right-hand side a little bit more. We get axy plus b minus a times x plus 6 minus b. Okay, now when you compare the right-hand side and the left-hand side, this function is defined from reals to reals, so this is valid for all real values of x and y, which means that uh, we can kind of compare the coefficients of the terms. We have a polynomial in two variables on both sides. Here we have the x, y, and x, y, so they nicely cancel out. On the right hand side, we have a linear equation, but on the left hand side, we have a constant because a and b are constants. So it's impossible unless the coefficient of x is equal to zero. When it is zero, we got rid of the x. Now we have the equality of two constants, therefore they have to be equal, which means that 6 minus b needs to equal a plus b, which is our constant on the left-hand side. Great. This gives us what? A system of two equations. Let's go ahead and solve it. So this gives me b minus a is equal to 0, and a plus b is equal to 6 minus b. The first equation gives me something super duper nice, which is a equals b, and the second equation can be solved uh, by putting everything on the same side. So let's go ahead and replace a with b. So we get b plus b equals 6 minus b 
That means uh, b plus b is 2b, or not 2b, yay, I got it finally. And then add the other b, you get 3b. Okay, 3b equals 6 implies b equals 2, and a equals b implies a equals 2. So a and b are both equal to 2. But our assumption was, if you remember, that f of x is in this form, ax plus b. Therefore, f of x is going to be 2x plus 2. And that is going to be the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of the... <laughs> okay, let me try this one more time. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Keep up the good work. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.